10 News is learning new information about a dental assistant who was stabbed to death in Carlsbad Friday afternoon. We first brought you the story as breaking news last night at 7. 10 News reporter John Carroll is live in Vista with what the victim's former landlord had to say about the man accused of killing her. John. And Itika, 27-year-old John Monta, sits here in a cell at the Vista Detention Facility this afternoon. And now we're hearing from people who knew the victim how they were shocked to learn of her death and surprised to learn of how she died. Well, I feel shocked. That was the reaction from Fernando Panganaban when we told him about the death of the woman who rented a room from him until just a few months ago. Though the medical examiner hasn't yet released her identity, 10 News has been able to confirm enough information to report that she is Joanne Javier. Panganaban says she has a two-year-old son. It's not clear whether Javier was married to the man who's accused of killing her, 27-year-old John Monta. Last night, San Diego police turned out in force on this Linda Vista street to arrest Monta. Neighbor Mark George saw it all happen. Bunch of cops, about 15 cop cars, about three, four dogs surrounded the whole place. Pretty crazy. George says Monta surrendered without a fight. Seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I've known him for a little while, but didn't talk to him much, but seems like a real nice guy. It was around 4.30 yesterday afternoon. Police were called to this parking lot outside a Carlsbad dentist's office. When Javier didn't return from her lunch break, her boss became concerned. We're told she came outside and found Javier bleeding to death in her black truck. That's it parked under that tent. She'd been stabbed multiple times. Both Fernando Ponganaban and Mark George say Monta does not seem like the type of person who could do something like that. I know that John, uh, he's a cool guy. But I didn't know that he has a bad temper. And as far as I know, the guy seems like a real good guy, um, never violent, real calm. Fernando Panganaban says John Monta is fighting cancer, but now he's got a big legal fight on his hands as well. Now, we did request a jail interview with Monta here at the Vista facility, but he turned us down. He is being held here without bail. Live in Vista, John Carroll, 10 News.